one of the major features of the Steinhardt program is this year-long class in writing for string quartet. I just felt that it would be really exciting for the students to interface with a professional quartet. And by the end, they have this phenomenal performances by the Jack, who are really, really one of the premier groups playing contemporary music today. It's really a chance to say, what can a string quartet do? What can it sound like? And where can we go where we haven't been before? I use a lot of sonorities that sound like really uh, early music, like uh, Renaissance music or something. So it sounds as if you're listening to this music that's coming from an extreme distance and getting close to you and backing away. Actually, I like, uh, like Hollywood movies that start with an explosion and are uh, a series of explosions for two hours. Um, so I, I try to do that in my music too, although I don't have special effects, it's just uh, fast music, yeah. <laughs> first time if I hear my music in a rehearsal, I am devastated. I think I wrote the, the wrong notes, did everything wrong actually. But then always musicians have to get used to the piece, to find your ideas and, and understand it. It's about what they respond best to and some players are very technical and, and I would get down to the nitty gritty about the length of notes or something, whereas some players I would tell them to play in a specific style or with a feeling. Some people really respond well to that. It's an ongoing dialogue with, with me and the other creative artists in the room. It's really formed uh, a community where we're all supportive of each other, all the composers that are involved in this process. You don't have to adjust to a certain aesthetic or a certain mindset. Everyone is very, yeah, respect your, your thoughts actually. They've really formed a strong community and out of that they've developed their own composer collective. They call it W4 and they're out producing their own concerts in New York City. It was initiated by the students and it's an outcome of being together in this class and beginning the dialogue uh, with each other. And ultimately, it's your peers who they're most likely going to be working with or developing projects with. Mm -hmm.